Hello viewers, welcome back to Hungry Fusion. Today we are going to make no sugar strawberry jam. I did not use any sugar or pectin for this jam. It is very easy and healthy. I am going to use maple syrup in it. Cooking time is just 20 minutes. No pressure cooking. It is also a one pot recipe. It tastes absolutely delicious. Let's jump into the making. I have taken one pack of strawberries. Choose ripe and sweet ones for tastier jam. And two apples. I have taken small ones so I have taken two. I am using apples as they are pectin rich. Peel the skin of the apples and remove the seeds. Apple seeds are not good for health. It is considered as poison. Cut it into small pieces. I am going to steam it for 5 minutes in high flame. Next I have washed and cleaned the strawberries. I have also removed the stem of it. Cut it into pieces and add it to a bowl. Once the apple is steamed let it cool for some time and let's grind it to make apple sauce. Grinding hot food loses its flavor so it is always better to cool it and grind it. Let's grind it into a paste. I am going to add 2 tablespoons of maple syrup to the cut strawberries. Mix well and set it aside for 15 minutes. We will be adding the remaining maple syrup in the cooking process. After 15 minutes you can see the strawberries would have released some water. Add it into a hot pan. Let it cook for about 2 minutes. I am going to use natural sweetener today. You can also sweeten it with other fruit juices. Mash it well with a masher until you don't see the big chunks of the strawberry. After 2 minutes add the prepared applesauce. Mix it well and set timer for 20 minutes. Cook in medium high flame until the mixture is reduced. Smash it with a spatula until it is well blended. After 10 minutes add another 2 tablespoons of maple syrup. Now after 15 minutes I am adding other 2 tablespoons of maple syrup. You can add up to half cup based on the sweetness of your fruits. My fruits are on the sweeter side so I needed very less maple syrup. Taste and add it accordingly. It's been 20 minutes now. I am going to switch off the flame. Add little jam to the plate and freeze it to check if it is done. If you run a spatula over it, it should not merge. Once done, add it into a sterilized jar. Let's check out the mixture we have freezed. It got a perfect texture. That's it, our easy, healthy and delicious homemade jam is done. Store pot jams use at least 2 cups of white sugar for this quantity of jam. Make your own with all healthy ingredients without compromising the taste. Try this amazing recipe today and comment your feedback. The notes, ingredients and other playlists are given in the description. Check out my no sugar pineapple jam in description too. Share and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Stay tuned for more amazing recipes. Thank you.